Okay, today we're going to show you and explain to you the difference between the leg presses and which one's best for knee rehab. So, you can see this one here. This is what I call like a 45 degree leg press or like an incline press. Uh, going up an incline. The thing about this press is this is an open chain machine. Now, I'm going to tell you about open chain versus closed chain machine, which is this one over here. Now, in my view, the best machine for rehab is a closed chain machine, okay, not an open chain machine. The open chain machines are great for building strength, building size for your glutes and quads and hammies, awesome. But for rehab, the better choice is going for a closed chain machine. I'll show you why. Come over here. So when, when you're in a leg press, you're quite, it's quite high. Now the thing about this is, one, in your lower back, it's not so good. So if you've got a lower back problem or you've got disc problems, you can see in here, I'm already in lumbar flexion. Now if I'm going to load through that point, there's a lot of load coming down through my spine, pushing disc pressure that way. I'm in that bent position. In this position, I tend it's very hard for me to get my core on, my spine, so I just cannot get it into neutral because I'm so wound up in here, this will be really tight here. You're going to really struggle to get neutral. So that's one thing, I can't get neutral so there from my core's not on, the discs are in jeopardy. Okay, so that's not great. We're talking about knees, but it's not great for your back anyway. So this press position here, where I push out, I tend to push out with my tummy that way. Okay, and with these ones, people tend to lock and hold it there. And then look at that, the thighs are off. Okay, so I need to be always in there. And this one here, it's still not really on. Okay, so this is not great for even if you're doing it one leg, you're going to skew with a little bit of your lower back because the weight down here is quite a lot. Um, so the other thing, because it's an open chain machine, I'm doing shearing forces through my knee. Okay, I'm pushing away, okay, pushing away rather than my body moving. So there's some there's a lot more shearing forces through this machine than there is through that. Now if your knee is fine, awesome for leg building and muscle strength. So the great exercise, but for rehab, let's go to the other machine. Let's come on to this one. So this one here is closed chain. Now closed chain meaning your feet are fixed and your body's moving relative. With that one my body was fixed and my feet were moving, all right? So in this machine here, again, much safer. I can keep my back in neutral here. It's a lot better here, I'm not all squashed up. Even when I get right down over here, I can still maintain some sort of neutral spot. because I can, my body is straight back in here. There's, not, there's no vertical load coming down on me. So with this one, what you can do is you're gonna push horizontal. Now the tricks are, is making sure that your weight is through the heel. Okay, so when you're doing one-legged work, or even if you're doing eccentric work, and you're coming down and pushing up with two, so eccentric loading, down with one, up with two, as you're pushing through the heel. You keep all the foot on, and, you, and don't go high, don't go low, come in the middle, hip width apart, and keep that weight through the heel. So when I come down, my weight's more on the heel, and when I drive, I push through the heel. Now a little tip with this one, is making sure when you push through the heel, think about pushing that height away like you would do with a 45 degree machine. So when you come down, I weight through my heel, my pelvis is level, and I think about pushing that plate away. And that'll give me a lot more work, so if I do on this leg, if I come down here, a lot more work BMO, a lot more work glute. So when I draw right through there, that single leg work for knee rehab, which we love, which fires that BMO up, because when you're two legs, you're not going to do as much BMO as if you're on one. Okay, so more, more BMO work done on one, and you're really nice and stable, there's nice compression through here, which is what the knee loves, especially an ACL knee. And you're driving through into one, and you'll really fire that glute if you push that away. Okay, so that's the difference. Open chain, closed chain, make sure you push it through the heel, fire the glute, getting that BMO going, and one leg at work, okay? Start with eccentric, pushing up the two, and then work on the one leg at work, nice deep range, and driving forward. Other little, last little tip, don't let that knee roll inwards. So you come over here, this knee here, what I don't want you to do, is when you come down, think of a, think of a line of plane here, through your ankle, through your hip. That knee can't then start going this way. Okay, it's got to stay in line here, otherwise you're going to start getting some metallofemoral tracking problems and some pain, and you're not really building strength there. So, 
why that we're rolling in is because your glutes are a little weak or you're letting your hip drop, so you're dropping through there, just like you would do on a one-legged squat. So keep that level into here, keep that in line, look at that knee and drive through to the top. The other thing too is when you get to the top and you lock out, don't let your quads go. Keep it, don't let them go jelly, keep them on, keep them tight. So when you go from lock position to unlock, you've got muscle control. A lot of people get injured because they're going from a lock position, they're using the back knee to lock it, and then they go, bang, DMO on. So you want to make sure it's on, so when you release, the control's there from that little bit of movement from zero to 30 degrees, you want your, this switching on so you're nicely supported through there. Okay, that's it.